cognizant that there are many of you here in the commons of Concordia Theological Seminary, many of you watching live stream, and we welcome you to this uh, blessed event here. I'm speaking from the campus of Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne, Indiana. As you know, we have been in the process of searching for a new president for this wonderful school that God has given us. And so, it is my privilege today to tell you that after thoughtful prayer, and on behalf of the Board of Regents and the leadership of the Senate, that I can tell you now that the new president of Concordia Theological Seminary is Dr. Larry Rass. <laughs> get to say a few words, but not immediately, because I'm first calling on uh, uh, the wonderful president of our Lutheran Church in Missouri Synod, uh, the Reverend Dr. Matthew Harrison. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Congratulations, Dr. Rast. It has been the mission of this seminary for 165 years to proclaim, to train for the proclamation of the gospel of the free forgiveness in, by faith in Jesus Christ and his cross. And we are privileged at this momentous time. Dean Wente has led this institution so ably, the perfect man for the job at that time, given by God for the last 15 years. And now the Lord has given us Dr. Raz. We are grateful, the whole church is grateful for this institution, and we are looking forward to a strong future. Uh, in the interest of brevity, I just want to mention one thing. Pastor Grauman has managed this process with the kind of integrity, kindness, charity, and capability that we could only dream of having everywhere in the church. And we all owe him and the Board of Regents an intense debt of gratitude. Thank you. We're also today honored to have with us the chairman of the board of directors of our Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod, Dr. Robert Penn. He joined me here. And uh, President Harrison, thank you for those very kind words. Uh, that is just more than gracious. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What a privilege it is to be a part of God's family when we're in the process of finding new servants to fulfill the tasks that he places before us. And I firmly believe that God raises up the right person at the right place at the right point in time to do whatever task it is that he wants to have fulfilled. And so it's with great joy that I was privileged to be a part of seeing the Lord move and say, this is the individual that I'm raising up at this point in time. We wish you God's phenomenal continued blessing. Phenomenal in the sense that it's very difficult for us to understand the blessings that he showers upon us. But as he does, we use those to his glory. May he continue to surround you with his love and mercy and give you guidance in your new responsibility. And as has been so uh, wonderfully said and truthfully said, uh, Dr. Wenthu, we owe you a debt of gratitude for your service to God uh, and our church in your 15 years of service as president of the Concordia Theological Seminary. And we wish you Godspeed. And I know you want to say just a word uh, here <laughs> while you can. <laughs> this is indeed a joyful moment. Uh, Dr. Rast 
has served uh, beside me for years and done a superlative job as academic dean. He brings a depth of theological knowledge and wisdom and uh, creativity. And one of the great blessings is he'll take our seminary uh, from this uh, technologically uh, challenged leader into a whole new wonderful uh, network. Uh, I think under his leadership, the seminary will go viral. And uh, millions will hear about us and hear the good news with faithfulness and charity through his leadership. I couldn't be happier. I'm like the pastor who knows that his successor is going to hold up and even improve on the vision. God bless you, Dr. Rast. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today to share this moment in the history of, a, of our seminary. This place is a gift of God, but the people who are part of this community are truly the gifts of God. Where, as we begin to step forward into a new time, we look forward to all kinds of changes, technological, familial, uh, in terms of Amy and my children, our responsibilities and the way that will recast our lives. But one thing never changes, and that is the grace of God in Jesus Christ for each and every one of us, who has called us by name in our baptisms, set us apart to be his own, and given us the promise of everlasting life. That is why we are here. That is why we take this message of Christ out into the world that needs so much to hear it. And so thank you for being here. And thank you, Chairman Grauman and the Board of Regents as a whole for the wonderful leadership you've provided and the leadership you will continue to provide for this community. I look forward to serving with you. Also, thank you to Matthew, my dear friend. Your presidency, uh, we, I, we look forward to serving alongside of you for the sake of the mission of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. We are committed to our theological position, committed to our mission, working together. I see great things in the future. As well, Dr. Kuhn. Thank you so much for being here on behalf of the Board of Directors. And Dean, Dr. Wempe, it is a little bit overwhelming to step into his shoes, to be very frank, to follow a man who exemplifies and embodies the mission of this place, to form servants in Jesus Christ, to teach the faithful, reach the lost, to care for all. It's a little overwhelming, frankly, again. but. What you've done in assembling an incredibly gifted, first-rate, world-class faculty and an amazingly gifted staff that is committed to a mission of reaching out with Christ to a world in need, I know that we'll continue the work you've begun and carry it forward with great effectiveness and fruitfulness. Thank you so much. I'll not say much more other than I agree completely with Dean. The future is bright. The opportunities are immense, and our Lord always provides. I look forward to serving with all of you as we continue to form servants in Jesus Christ who teach the faithful, reach the lost, and care for all. Thank you, and God bless. financial support. We ask for anything you can do to promote the work of God at this place, at this time, for tomorrow and the future of God's work through the church. And God bless your day. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>